Sailing is one of the really great sports. It's terrific fun, and it's not without its mysteries. And one of its mysteries is how your boat can actually go forward into the wind. It does it on a zigzag course. It's called tacking, but in fact, it uh, really sails into the wind. There it is. It's going about. The weight changes, and off it goes into the wind. Or really with the wind blowing sort of across it, but it heads up into the wind. Well, how is that done? Let's first of all go back to the aeroplane wing, because an aeroplane wing, if you look at it, is flat underneath and curved over the top. And here's a simple aeroplane wing. Get a bit of paper, put it over the edge of a table, and hold it hard with your hand. Pulling it through, you'll stretch the paper so it curls up. If you straighten that out a bit, so it really just has a bit of a curve on it, like the top of an aeroplane wing, and get down beside it. You blow, and you'll see it behaves in much the same way. It won't stay lying on the table, it'll lift. Comes off the table. And that's what happens in an aeroplane wing. The air going over the top of it goes faster over the curve, area of less pressure, and the pressure from underneath forces the wing up into it, and you're flying. And that's really what's happening with a boat. You may not have your own, but you can make one to examine this out of a cork, a match, a piece of paper, and a piece of cardboard, and the necessary tools. OK, let's see how. Get your cork and cut a boat off the end of it, about three quarters, half a centimetre long. Doesn't really matter. Just make a nice little round boat like that. Now, you'll need a mast, and for that, I get a match and sharpen one end. OK? Get your bit of curved paper and cut a sail out of it, which is really not much longer or taller than the mast you're going to use. Make sure it's got a good curve in it. Then you can just get some glue, put that on the matchstick here, and glue the sail to it. Square in the middle. OK, so there you go. You've got your mast and your sail. And you poke that into the middle of your boat. But before you do, there's one little bit that you're going to need. And that's a place for a rudder. We'll see what that does a bit later on. But just get the hacksaw blade, the best thing for cutting cork, I think, and cut a slit at the back of the boat. And once you know where the slit is, you can put the mast and the sail in facing forwards from that. And your boat's really ready for the great big ocean. So come with me. Right, we plonk it in there and it floats. And rather well too. Now let's see what happens if the wind blows from me. Well if it's got that sort of big ballooning spinnaker type of sail, it'll catch the wind and simply go away from it. Like that. You notice it's spinning round. It blows away, but it spins. It's got no control. Also, if I wanted to come back into the wind, what I've got to do is to set the sail rather like the aeroplane wing, so that the wind blows across it. So we'll point it back across the wind here and let the wind blow across that curved surface. And we get this. It comes towards the wind. Just turn it around again. But it's got no control. Comes towards the wind, but turns round and round. So that's where we use that slit at the back for the rudder. Because the rudder helps you give direction. And for the rudder, all you need is a bit of cardboard that'll wedge in that slot. And here we go. I'll just slip it in like that. And once it's in there, you can experiment and see how you need to set it. That's for going right, and that's for going left. I've set one up here, which is almost identical. Plonk that in there. The rudder's really set to push it against the direction of the wind. So if I now blow that across that curved part of the sail, the boat will come forward, the rudder will control direction. It won't be as fast but it will know where it's going. 